Okay, for 2023 movie bingo, who had Eli Roth getting a highly rated fresh tomato for Thanksgiving? I didn't. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Thanksgiving. Now, this is probably one of the last, if not the last, Grindhouse movie we're going to get from all of those wacky trailers that we got from the Planet Terror Death Proof combo from over a decade ago. We've had a few different films from that come from it, Hobo with a Shotgun, Machete being the big one. But Thanksgiving was always a really funny one because of just how hilarious the trailer was. The trailer had probably the best narrator, um, which is unfortunate that that narrator wasn't, didn't come back for this. And it also had probably one of the most cringe-inducing kills that you could ever imagine in a movie. Do they do that in this movie? Well... This film follows a group of teens similar to that of Scream or I Know What You Did Last Summer, who all converge in on this Black Friday sale at this Right Mart event and unfortunately things go very very wrong people die and then a year later they are starting to be picked off by someone who had obviously something happened to them from that night and the mystery of trying to figure out who the killer is all the while these really really ridiculous kills happen to these absurd characters happen along the way if there's something that eli roth can always be consistent with is his complete inability to understand subtlety from the dialogue and the absolute absurdity of some of the characters in this film to the levels of douchebaggery that would maybe make andrew tate sweat the many many traits of eli roth's film making tactics are in this film and some might enjoy that especially those who are fans of grindhouse like films and there are some pretty good moments in this movie there are a couple of really good kills there are a couple of really good laughs to the point where they're so bad that you will laugh but the film is also just inundated with kind of sloppy filmmaking it always feels like eli roth is that one high school student that had a passion to make films didn't have exactly the talent to do so but really wanted to and has kept doing so but also barely kind of improving upon himself in the meantime. There's a lot of really disjointed uh, edits in this movie. There's a lot of really weird audio and camera placements. There's a lot of just story bits that just kind of come and go without any kind of connection. Very much akin to that of the early Friday movies. The first few movies especially were just so weirdly put together. It feels like it's very much like with peanut butter and jelly and not exactly in an organized way and that's what thanksgiving feels like from beginning to end there's also really no character to kind of latch on to no one's an enjoyable character in this one no one is someone you're rooting for you are waiting to see some of them die and of course the few who deserve to die terribly don't and those who barely were involved die in particularly gruesome ways it's always weird how that happens that that's a trope with a lot of horror movies is the person you really want to see die terribly never usually does everyone in this movie is kind of meh like that's basically the best way i could describe it everyone is meh so there are a few very standout funny characters who are massive stereotypes, but they work because of that in this Eli Roth setting. But in comparison to the trailer, maybe I might have been holding on to that trailer for a long time, but I don't think this film captures just the exact terribly ridiculous humor that that trailer had, the very dark and very brutal humor. There's a bit of it here and there, but it really does feel like Roth had a good little short idea and then over the years, he just kind of never did anything with it. And then at the last minute, he's like, okay, you know what? Maybe we will turn this into something and, I don't know, make it very modern-ish. Ish. I had the pleasure of seeing it in a movie theater with friends and there was no one else. So we basically got to do our own laugh track to it. That was a really fun time. And if you get a similar setting, you will. Um, but don't do that with actual people in the theater. You, you would be a dick. I think that Thanksgiving is okay. It's an Eli Roth movie. Yeah, you're not expecting gold, you're not expecting treasure, you're just kind of expecting to have some kind of fun time while you're watching it. This is like on a, the same level of Cocaine Bear, it's a movie. It's, it's a movie. If you're a Grindhouse film goer, then you will enjoy. I do enjoy those films, but I do also 
kind of want some form of decent character and decent filmmaking and, and this movie has like a pinky finger in it so take that as you will in the end i'm gonna give thanksgiving a three out of seven i'm never gonna watch this again but i was happy that i did anyways guys let me know what you thought about this movie in the comments below interested to see what you guys have to say and as always if you like this video please leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe until then happy thanksgiving to my american viewers and i will see you guys later